All right, everyone, how you doing? So yesterday I was pretty hesitant on showing you how to, I'll show you other steps of actually hiding execution inside of an image. Um, I'm going to show you a more thorough method. You can hide a text file in it. You can hide any kind of file in an image, basically. Um, if you actually wanted to how to achieve this, what I'm about to show you and actually execute it, the only advice I'm going to give you is to look into WinRAR and the SFX side of it uh, because you'll be able to achieve that there. I'm not going to show you though. It's just something you're going to have to figure out for yourself. And I don't say that to be an asshole, I just kind of got my stuff. But anyway, I have a WAV file here and I'm going to hide it inside of an image. And this is 400 and 63 megabyte, uh, 4.63 megabytes, and this image is 464 kilobytes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go CD and I'm going to shrink this down a little bit so it's not completely in everybody's way. And what I'm going to do, move this over a little bit. Is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna type in CD D. It'd be CD space um, forward slash D and then space backward slash users. And my friend's computer's name. Desktop, and then I'm going to go ahead, click it. So now I'm on desktop, and now that I'm on desktop, I'm going to type in CD, and I'm going to type in basically um, what I'm going to do is go and type in my file name. I have this file on my desktop, which is what you saw these in. Um, you type in your file's name, basically. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. I called mine file. So I'm just going to type in file and hit return. And now we are at the file side of this. Now I'm going to go into the directory side of it. And WA. And now we see the directory side of this. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go into this folder and I'm going to zip this wave up. I'm going to go in here, go to send to, turn it into a compressed folder, and now I'm going to close this part out and I'm going to go back into the file. I'm going to go dir basically repeating the same process that I just did. So when I hit return, it's going to go back into the directory, and this time it should show a zip file um, along that says, you know, car, and uh, it'll show the rest. So as you can see, you see the zip file, you see the PNG. So now we're going to do the magic, basically. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the PNG's name, which would be girl. If I actually put my cursor down here, um, <sighs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. all right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. Don't mind this white blotch. I'm going to go to copy. space forward slash with a B and 
space, and then I'm going to type in uh, girl dot png space plus, and then I'm going to do um, car, which would be the zip, and then I'm going to hit return. So now we have the files copied. I will now show you what we have going on. So as you can see, now this picture is now 458 megabytes, okay? Um, I just had to refresh this because it wasn't one. It didn't want to show, so I had to refresh this. So I'm going to go ahead and click this picture. And as you see, the picture pops up. But within it is this WAV file. That's how you hide a file within a image file. Just to show you again, this is 463 megabytes. The picture was 464 kilobytes, and now it is 458 megabytes. And there you have it.